All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Dong and Ropa, but with a good mic this time. It's been however yeah. long. It's been like this is the third recording session, I believe we've done so far. Uh, third session, like I don't know, episode six or something. Some <laughs> bullshit. I don't know. Um, yeah. so I'm back here with my boy. You probably just heard him. Uh, Ian, hi, say hi. Hello, everybody. And we're back in Dong and Ropa. I think I accidentally clicked while I was setting up Streamlabs and everything. Actually, so. no. I just checked the recording, and apparently we left the room before we stopped recording. All right. Well, then let's just skip ahead a little bit. You you saw nothing, ladies and gentlemen. So at this point, this is where we were. All right. Let's go see freaking Taka. How you doing, bud? Want a hug? <laughs> You're so short. Why am I so short? Hey. <laughs> Good morning, Makoto. G g good morning? <laughs> yes, morning greetings are quite a delight. Such an energizing way to start the day. Whatever you say, buddy. You understand? Now then, let's make sure we both do our very best throughout the day. Sh sure. <laughs> Wonder if he's always like this. I suspect so. I, I suspect so as well. Moving forward, ladies and gentlemen. Where are we supposed to go? Um... I guess just look around. I mean, oh, oh, I think they, I think they, they did say last time that they were going to reconvene in the uh, dining hall. So back to the fork and spoon. That's what I vaguely remember from. Why well, have a fork and spoon? It's been so long since I played the first game that I like don't remember the specifics, just like the plot details. You know. Makes sense. It's been like a couple days since we recorded last, that's why I'm kind of confused. It's fine though. Yeah. Hello there, Kyoko. Good morning, Kyoko. Yeah, I just said that. Hello. Good morning. Just as depressed and cut off as always. I'm just intently staring at my screen. <laughs> This doesn't seem to be going anywhere. <laughs> um. What? Did you need something? Oh, uh, no, nothing in particular. Right. Well then. Damn, she just hates people, dude. She left. <laughs> I, I think I noticed that game. Makoto, Kyoko seems kind of. How should I put it? Taciturn? Or maybe she just plays things cool. I don't think that's playing things cool. I think that's just her hating you. <laughs> or not, not finding a reason to talk to you at the moment. Chihiro's here. Hello. I was her, right? Yes. Ah, uh, Makoto. She basically just said it. Good morning, Chihiro. Mm. You know, we're standing here exchanging morning greetings, but we can't even look out the window to see if it really is morning. Y yeah, true. Uh, so sorry if that was kind of weird. You don't have to apologize. Uh, I'm sorry. So uh huh. She looks really sad. I feel like I did something wrong. She's really the crying type, isn't she? <laughs> she like was crying the first time you met her because you looked upset. Apparently, this yeah. is weird. I love Shigeru. She seems like an adorable character. Let's talk to the asshole. <laughs> Good morning, Bayakuya, or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I pronounced that completely wrong. Byakuya. Byakuya. Bayakuya. <laughs> Episode name right there. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Did he not hear me? Hey, Byakuka. Good morning. Stop talking. Once is enough. Jesus Christ. Huh? I don't have time to play with you. I'm only here to get breakfast. I have neither need nor desire to talk to you. Now withdraw. So he did hear me. He just didn't respond. Jesus Christ. Let's see who else is here. Uh, let's nobody else is here. Nothing. We've talked to the people. Now we look at the camera again. There is a door back there I believe you can check. That's the 
like not a closed door, but like an entryway. True, but I just want to look around. We, ha well, I these are all gonna give me the same okay. thing, except for the freaking the monitor, the clock, and the um and the camera are always the same in every room. So there's no need to check them now. I can't even sh be sure if that clock is right. I don't know what to believe anymore. And I believe all, all the clocks are going to say that. So monitor, clock, uh, and camera don't need to be checked. Um, is there anything else? Yeah. Oh, we can get food. Yo, that looks sick. Yo, I wish my house was this fucking stocked. I mean, <laughs> I don't have to kill anybody, right. but I'd, but I mean, this would be cool. There's okay. a bunch of vegetables all piled up. There's so many different kinds, and all super healthy, I bet. Still, I'd rather have some cake. <laughs> Oof, I feel the well, exact same way. I feel like you can make some really good meals with that, though. So like, you, like, you've got a lot of ingredients there. True, but cake. But cake? I don't like cake. You don't like cake? Pie is better. Pie what is kind better. of fucking inhuman p piece of shit are you? Not I liking prefer cake. I pie over cake because I don't like frosting. But cake, though. I don't like frosting. <laughs> Why don't you like frosting? Too, frosting is too. I, I don't know how to describe it. It's is it too sweet or something? I mean, partially, yeah. Like, look, I love a good tart cherry pie. Pies are amazing. Interesting. Not a big cake person. Yet, pie. you don't like cake. I don't like that, but whatever. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I would eat a piece every now and again if it's for a party or something, but, like, I would much prefer pie. That's really all I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice! Got a coin. Got another coin? What are those going to be used for? We'll find out. Oh, God, I don't like those knives. <laughs> <laughs> There's some kitchen knives hanging on the wall. There's a whole bunch of different kinds. I had no idea you needed so many to cook. I don't think those are for cooking. <laughs> Not in this sadistic place. Yeah, Jesus Christ. There's a, we can't have the note, can we? Nope. The surveillance camera's probably going to say the exact same thing. Is there cake in here? It's a deli style display case. There's all kinds of food and stuff lined up inside. Even in this crappy situation, when I see that I, that meat, I start get, to get kind of excited. <laughs> oh gosh, you, you need to take that out of context. Um. Oh, oh, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's tentacle therapist, okay? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you had to, Ian, didn't you? Oh, this game will do it for you, don't worry. Jesus Christ. This game has a whole bunch of those kind of things. You wouldn't know what it's like to be excited about meat because you're vegan. <sighs> well, but I'm also bisexual. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. So you do know what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Instant demonetization right there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Cool, another coin! Yeah! Let's let's not talk about that anymore. Dear God, please. <laughs> <laughs> and the monitor's gonna say the same thing, right? We just wanna double check that I've seen everything. Alright, let's exit. Yes. Alright, so I guess we just have to explore more. Let's see. Let's see if there's anything else we can do. I don't believe there is in here. I just wanted to double check around. Yeah. Let's go back out. I guess we weren't supposed to go to the dining hall. I don't know what Maybe we're we supposed to, to do. People. Maybe we're supposed to go find everybody or something. I don't know. Where's my personal ass assistant, Ble? Oh! I'm being stupid. Yeah, you know, you're, you, that's what you're supposed to do, is go talk to Saik. Where is she? <laughs> I think I think Lakota said that. I just skipped over the beginning, like, oh, I should go find Saik. <laughs> It's fine though. It's completely and utterly fine. Toko Sayaka. 
There's a doorbell next to the door. I guess I should use that. Bing bong! <laughs> Hello? Good morning, Sayaka. Hi, Makoto! Oh, Makoto! Perfect timing! Huh? Um, Listen, you? I have a favor to ask. What kind of fucking favor? I'm not murdering anyone for you. <laughs> a favor? I was just getting ready to get head out. If it's okay, would you like to come with me? Maybe we could talk? Yeah, sure. Where are you, are, where are you headed? Uh, um. Oh, um. I've been thinking that there might be something around here I could use for self-defense. Self-defense? Um. Well, I mean, whoever's keeping us here could show us an attack- show up and attack us at any time. You never know. Whoever trapped us here. Yeah, I don't know who trapped them there. All we know is that Monokuma, the man, the myth, the legend himself, is in charge. <laughs> That's fair. Whoever presented us with the rules for murdering each other, whoever put us in this insane position, she's right. We never know when they might attack. Um... So I just want to be able to protect myself no matter what happens. A weapon to protect yourself. Well, now that I think about it, that display case in the gym entryway had a bunch of stuff. Maybe. Oh, the gym? Okay, let's go! Jeez, uh, uh, again? Fucking telepathic, psychic. psychic, whatever. Like I said, I'm psychic. Bullshit. <laughs> I like how they have a full voice line for that because of how many times she said it. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. Whatever you say. Am I really so easy to predict? Yeah, it is. Well, what is that? Yourself, you're the, like most average person ever, right? So I guess so. Like, is it just me being average, or is it her being psychic? It beats me. I have a feeling you know. It beats me. You know you just won't tell me. Anyway, we should head to the gym. For anyone who just hates walking around the school, we've got some good news. You can now teleport using the map section of the handbook menu. Yep. It's as simple as opening the map menu and choosing where you want to go. However, you can only teleport to hallways and marked waypoints. Plus, you can't teleport to places you haven't been or places that are blocked off. Mm -hmm. and depending on certain story moments, there will be times when you won't be able to teleport at all. Finally, try not to teleport inside any walls. There's a chance you could get lost. Forever. Whoa! <laughs> well then, good luck and have fun! Yeah, I'm gonna have so much fucking fun getting ready to get murdered or some shit. <laughs> okay. So That's we're going cool. to the gym. Yep. Is Saika coming with? She's following you. It, it, nothing actually follows you in this game. Like that. So which one's so, the gym? So this this side, so this area that you're in right now is the dormitory side. If you look, there's you know. The laundry room, the trash room, you know, the dorms, the, like, uh, there's a storage room in there, it looks like, with a box and, like, a dining room. Uh, or, I'm sorry, that's the kitchen, that's the storage room. Or, no, really. Yeah, you know. Um, but then, over to the left, the, is, actually leads to the school area. Which is, this is the right. <laughs> the nerds up here. Hello, nerd man, I want to speak with you. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Fucking villager ass mother. <laughs> Most suspicious. Mr. Neegi. Miss Maizono. W where are the two of you off to? A man and woman growing closer? Oh my god. <laughs> no. Hey, hey, what are you trying to say? Mm. Like when two people are stuck in a hostage situation, and over the course of the story, they fall in love. There's really no way to express it but to say. What is he gonna say? I feel as if... How very poetic. Hey, um... Makoto, do you have any idea what he's talking about? Nope, I don't have a clue. Fair enough. Yeah, so that, that, that like, arrow to the, to, to the very far left of the map, um, like, leads you to the school area. Oh, so that's what that did. Well, I just wanted to explore a little bit, figure it out. Oh, 
Yes, say hello to Sister Celeste. I hope you are well. But hello, I hope the two of you are having a nice day. Okay. Good morning, Celeste. <laughs> Exchanging such common greetings is somehow strange. Is that okay? In the circumstances and everything. Her eyes. <laughs> her hair. <laughs> oh yeah, I let I love her hair. Me too, but it's crazy. True. It's as tall as her. It's a very good point. You know, sometimes you scare me a little. <laughs> hmm. Hey, um. Should we get going? Yeah. She, gone. And now we go find the gym. I, s I know where the gym is. I can see it. It looks like a gym. It looks like a basketball court. There's the the girl who like kind of so yeah. There's the author person, right? Yep. Took it together with the, those other two. Quite a combination. Hina and Sakura. Mm-hmm. What's your problem? What do you want? Look like you have something to say. Oh, no, I was just thinking that you three make a pretty unique team. Let me make this perfectly clear. Jesus Christ. Me hanging out with two people who have muscles with their brains should be is not by choice. Just a second. Wow, that was super mean. Hmm. Yesterday you were complaining how nobody invited you. It's the only reason I asked you to come with us. Oof. <laughs> I never asked you to do that! Stop trying to drag me farther into your meat dimension! Jesus Christ. Jeez, I can't believe she just ran off. You think we should go after her? Wait. We shouldn't pressure her any further. Well... Oh yeah, good point. I like water and oil anyway. It'd be weird if they did get along. Why the hell do, like, <laughs> the characters group together into characters I voice and you voice? I don't know. Why, why do the characters I voice all conglomerate here? The characters you voice were, like, both in the cafeteria. And... <laughs> totally makes sense. Let's talk to you <laughs> next. <laughs> hey, Makoto. Oh, look who it is. What's up, guys? What are you up to? Yeah. We're picking up where we left off yesterday. I'm really hoping we find something today. If we do, I'll be sure to let everyone know ASAP. Nice. Let's talk to the scary lady. Hmm. We have to find some way out of here, no matter what. Um. And that's why you went with Hina and Toko? However. Well, Hina's the one that invited Toko. I have trouble talking to people directly. Uh, understandable. Peace, friend. I like Sakura. Yeah, it's a big oof. <laughs> Here's the gym. Eh. Yeet. <laughs> in we go. And here's the gym again. Well, no, the actual gym's in there. Yeah, this is where they keep all the trophies. And this is where this is what we could use as weapons. I mean. Hey, um. Here we go. I might be able to find something in here to protect myself with. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure I'll be able to find something in a display case I can use. What's that could work? There's all kinds of stuff on the shelves up above. A katana? <laughs> <laughs> Is this a sword? Oh no, I think it's just a replica. Damn it. Still, it's pretty impressive. It's completely covered in a gold coating. But... Jeez, I barely touched it. I got that gold stuff all over my hands. Uh, um. Wow, you're right. Your hands are totally gold. Even just for self-defense, I think it's a little... Well, it's still better than nothing, I guess. Hey, um. You should take it with you. It might help li liven up your room a little. You think so? But I guess you better be careful taking it back. You should wrap it in newspaper or something. Just like that, it's been decided. Hmm. I don't see anything I could really use for self-defense. 
But hey, don't worry about it. It's not like you need it right away, right? Plus, if anything were to happen, when the time comes, I'll protect you. Aww. Huh? You'll protect me? Aww, I love that. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. Yeah, I can't protect myself, lady. Like, I, I, I'm, too, I'm pretty selfless, you know. I'm too average for this shit. <laughs> if I've got you on my side, I guess I don't need a weapon after all. Aww. I love that. <laughs> so I could giggle, giggle as she said that. A mysterious smile. I can tell it comes from the heart. It makes me feel at ease. When I look at her, I honestly feel like I can do anything. Aww. This is adorable. Okay, we can stop looking for a weapon then, but as long as we're here, let's hang out a bit more. And the entire room gets rebuilt again because you know it has to. <laughs> of course. Boom. The monitor is going to say the same thing, right? Yes. And we can't. Maybe we can go. Is there something you need to do in the gym? Um, no, not really. Try talking to her again. Okay. Um. Hmm. I know I said I wanted to talk to you, but now that we're here, I don't really know what to talk about. Sorry. And I was the one who invited you to come with me to. Sorry. It's okay. I mean, there's nothing to talk about, and we can just not talk, right? Huh? Huh? You don't have to force yourself to talk. We can just, I don't know, stare off into space or whatever. Hmm. Stare off into space. Oh, but you're probably super bored, just standing around doing nothing. Uh, um, no, it's not that it's boring, it's just... I... I've never really done it before. I don't have a lot of time to just do nothing. That's sad. <laughs> I have plenty of time to do nothing. <laughs> yeah, especially nowadays. True. I, I, <laughs> I guess that makes sense. You're not a normal high school student like me. You've got tons of stuff to do every day. Um, listen... Hey, um, this is kind of out of nowhere, but... Makoto, do you have a dream? It, it's the things you hate. The pink things. Yeah, I hate them. There's a reason I got rid of them in the next game. <laughs> well, what about you, Sayaka? What's your dream? I'd love to hear. I... I... My dream is... I've always wanted to be a star as long as I can remember. I grew up without a mother, you know. Oh. My dad worked really late every night. I was always home alone. I was just a kid, you know, so I was really lonely. But that all changed when I saw a pop star on TV for the first time. She was so pretty, like a princess, and she could sing and dance. But more than anything else, there was her smile. Looking at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melting away. I decided that's what I wanted to be someday. I just wanted to give that kind of encouragement to others. Eventually, that became my dream. I'm gonna pretend like that doesn't make me want to cry. It's okay. <laughs> so amazing, though. You were able to actually fulfill your lifelong dream. Honestly, it's really incredible. I... I did whatever it took to re reach that dream. I mean, it, even some things that weren't so pleasant. Huh? You see. I honestly believe that as long as you kept chasing your dream, someday that had to come true. But to do that, you can't take your eyes off of your dream, not even for a second. Even if sometimes it's a bad dream, whether you're awake, whether you're asleep. To make your dream a reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on it no matter what. Um... In that world, if you lose focus for even a split second, you get left behind. You have to keep on swimming against the current without even taking time to breathe. That's the kind of world my dream lives in. I is it really that tough? Is it not fun at all? Oh no! Oh no, don't get the wrong idea. It's super fun. But... But that's exactly what scares me. Huh? Uh, um... I enjoy every single day I wake up and get to do what I do. Everyone in our group is amazing. We're rivals in a way, but they all mean so much to me. We've been performing s together since we were young, so they're all, like, family to me. Without them, I would have given up on my dream a long time ago. To work together and fill, fill our dreams together has brought me so much happiness. But that's why... But that's the thing that scares me the most. If the world gets tired of us, then what happens? What happens to us? 
When a dream dies, those wonderful days come to an end and everyone goes their separate ways. Is this Sayaka? She's trembling. She must be terrified. She worked so hard, sacrificed so much to get where she is. She must be terrified of losing it. That must be something a lot of celebrities feel. Yeah, probably. Like being fa just fading into a irrelevancy really fast. Yeah. That's interesting. You never really think about that. You never really do, but it's it's it certainly is interesting. That would be very stressful. Yeah. Like being stuck in that position, like being some really famous pop star, and just feeling like every day it could be the end. Yeah. You see. So that's the reason I decided to come to Hope's Peak. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, um. Well, they say that if you graduate from here, success is basically guaranteed. Which means I could keep on performing with my best friends forever and ever. At least that's what I thought. I really did believe that, but now we're trapped here with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. <sighs> While I'm in here, the world out there is forgetting about me. Minute by minute, we're all disappearing. But still. Saika? Why? I can't Why? afford to be stuck in here. That's the first time I heard her cry out from deep within herself. Oh my god. She's trying to lose it. She sounds desperate, but I can understand why she feels that way. Trapped here this way, the dream she put so much effort into is on the verge of disappearing forever. And that isn't something that can be fixed with a few kind of words. The weight she's carrying, I can't even imagine it. Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to complain. Uh, um. I kind of killed the mood, huh? No, not at all. Sorry. I'm really sorry. Um, Sayaka? Actually, are you hungry? Before we head back, why don't we go to the dining hall and get some food? So... Okay! You want me to make us something to eat? I might not look like it, but I'm actually a pretty good cook. <laughs> wow, really? What's your specialty? Chili oil. Um... You mean the condiment? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, just kidding. She bursts out laughing. This is fake. She doesn't really feel happy. And that makes me sad. Her earlier mood disappeared, replaced by the bright smile I'd quickly grown used to. But how'd it happen so fast? It's almost like a mask, like some kind of neutral expression. Aww. Anyway, we headed to the dining hall to get something to eat. Before returning to our rooms. That makes me sad. Yeah. I liked that. That was a nice conversation with her. Like, a lot of good character depth. Yeah. Characters in this game are pretty good. Poor Ian over here hasn't read for like 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I'm still here. Okay. I'm alive. Are you? I am alive, yes. On the inside or the outside? Um, more so on the outside. Oof. <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> we'll get into the late YouTube de or depression in a couple years' time. It's fine. The only thing <laughs> in my room is a fake sword covered in gold. That's badass. <laughs> That's fair. What would you, would you want a katana in your room? Um, yeah, certainly. That would just look badass. All it does is make me feel that much more uncomfortable. Anyway, there's still plenty of time left in the day. Yeah, what time is it? It's daytime. Yeah, we're not going to get to know exactly <laughs> what time it is, are we? Nope. Because we're stuck inside and we're all slowly going crazy. I hope by the end of the game, Saika isn't like completely fucking nuts, like bonkers. Yeah. That would make me sad. I really don't like. I don't. She's going through a lot. No, I get that. I'm just saying. <laughs> I just don't want her to go completely fucking bonkers because she's like my, yeah. my one of my favorite characters. Yeah. I really don't feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. You're about to have your first experience with free time. Would okay. you like to hear more? Absolutely. 
this is a mechanic of all of the games. Absolutely! As you live out your school life here, you will be given free time at certain points. During your free time, you can spend time with your fellow classmates to deepen your friendships. You can also give them presents, which can potentially give them an even better impression of you. You can get these presents from the Mono Mono machine in the school store. Come by early and often. At certain points, you'll witness intimate events, and new info will be added to each person's report card. These events can also open up new skills, which will prove useful as everything plays out. We strongly encourage you to develop and deepen as many friendships as you can. Also, keep in mind that when you talk with a classmate, time will pass. When you're finished, you'll automatically return to your room. After a certain amount of time, of time passes, your free time will come to an end and the story will progress. If, you're pr if you'd prefer not to engage in free time, you can always choose to simply go to sleep to skip it. We wouldn't re recommend this approach, but if you absolutely must press forward with the story, then anyway, why don't you try it out by spending some time with Miss Sayaka Maizono? I was planning that. Yeah. She's the ideal partner to begin with, don't you think? So how free time works, uh, this first section of free time is forced, you have to talk to Sayaka, you can't talk to any of the characters. But in general, most of the characters will be available, occasionally some of the characters won't. And I can't talk to all the characters, can I? Right now you cannot, oh no, you cannot talk to all the Where is uh, Sayaka? They didn't tell you this uh, in the tutorial. I think they bring it up later, but I think it's it's important to bring up, uh, is that what this free time does is if you talk to the same person enough, it will grant you a skill to use later in the game. I'm probably going to need to talk to Saika a lot, not all the time, but for the beginning at least. Uh, yeah. Well, I'll also, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. I guess I should press the doorbell. Ding dong. Um, listen. You know, Makoto. I'm so anxious, I really am afraid. Hmm, should I talk to Sayaka for a while? Um... Are you going to try and cheer me up? Sorry. Sorry for making you take your time out of your day like this. I did my best to comfort Sayaka. Sayaka and I, I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Sayaka a present? Definitely. What do you like to give her? What do you have? You have you didn't buy any presents. Um, um, Makoto? Do you think you could make time for the two of us to talk? W what's wrong? Why are you being so formal? I... Well, it's just... I guess that was kind of formal, but... Just because I can know I can count on you. Huh? <laughs> Having you by my side really makes me feel a lot better. Aww. If you weren't with me, I just don't know what I'd do. I'd be lost. But that's why... I hate that we had to meet again under such awful conditions, but I I'm relieved you're with me. Saika? Standing here face to face and hearing her say that. It's nice, but kind of embarrassing at the same time. I know how you feel. You being here is what saved me. Ah. R really? <laughs> Thank you for the flattery. That smile. Oh, that mysterious smile that softens my heart. I really wasn't flattering her. That smile saved me. Hmm. But it's kind of strange, you know? I never thought I'd get a chance to really talk to you like this. All through middle school, you never talked to me. In fact, you never even looked at me. It's because you were like a celebrity. I couldn't just go around staring at you. Wait, how do you know I never looked at you? Hey, um... Because I looked at you all the time. Huh? I was always looking for an opportunity to talk to you. You wanted to talk to me? But, but since I always had so many people around me, we ended up graduating without saying a word. That was one of my biggest regrets. Aww. Whoa. <laughs> Dang, that's cool. But why me? Uh... Do you remember during our first year of junior high, that huge bird wandered into the school pond? Actually, now that I think about it, I do sort of remember something like that. Hmm. It was like out of a fairy tale. The turtle wants every mi million years, that bird wants every thousand. A huge bird wandered into the school pond during our first year of junior, junior high. I think it might have been... This is important. How well do you know birds? Crane. What is a huge bird? Crane. Sure. Wait, not a sparrow. What's a heron? A heron? Yeah. Um, heron.
parents, I, I don't know how to describe things. Herons are, they're like fish eating birds. Um, it was a Great. crane. <laughs> it just walked right into the pond. Okay. That's right. It, that's what it was. Ha <laughs> ha. Because the other two were small as fuck. It was so big, the teacher had no idea what to do. <laughs> we let into the forest behind the school. We helped it find its way out. Well, only because I was already in charge of taking care of the animals at school. They made me do it. You see. I should have said thank you then, but is it okay if I do it now? Thank me? I... I'm that crane, you see. I've come to return the favor. Here, let me t make you a cloak. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Jesus fucking Christ. God damn it, the, the mind game she plays with us. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Y yeah, I c kind of figured. <laughs> I hope you don't think she's a crane. <laughs> but... Honestly, though, I was so impressed. That's why I always wanted to talk to you, even just once. Uh, um... I never imagined this would be how I got my chance. Yeah, if we'd met again at a train station somewhere downtown, that'd make for a nice dramatic reunion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this isn't dramatic enough. To, you don't think so no. either, do you, Ian? <laughs> oh, of course it's not dramatic, you know. Hell but, no. You know, a train station, no, that's dramatic. Hell yeah. But instead, it's this weird school. I... Maybe, but still. I'm sure you'll help me find my way out, just like that crane. You'll save me. You see? It's just intuition, I know, but I still believe it. I'm going to save her? I'll do my best, I promise that. I'll make sure it's more than just intu intuition. If there's anything I can do, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I believe in you. Besides, my intuition always turns out to be right. Like I said, I'm psychic. Fuck. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Yep. You're not psychic! <laughs> kidding, kidding! I wish you would shut the fuck up! <laughs> she laughed out loud as she did it. The closer we get, the stronger that smile of her makes me. I was glad to feel that way. Psychic's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Awesome! Just unlock the school skill, Melodious Voice. Give yourself a pat on the back, you've earned it. Nice. Can I get more skills from the same person, or do you only get one? Um, some people have multiple skills, some people have only one skill. Okay. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. If I were him, I'd be trying to get make friends with everybody. Dong, bing, bong. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Sorry, I had to finish that. <laughs> Hello, old buddy, old pal. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It so is, is the now same as 10 p.m. Yep. As such, it this is officially soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. Okay, then. Shut the f Sweet up. Sleep tight and don't. And don't let the bed bugs bite! <laughs> Today has already come to an end. But I swear tomorrow I'm going to find some kind of clue. I swear! Am I going sleepy pies? As my a... dog is snoring under my desk. That's adorable. Hi, Ian's dog. <laughs> What's its name? Loud. Django. Django, I love you. As my eyelids began to slide closed, the conversation I'd had with Sayaka that morning began to replay. In a way, it's almost frustrating. Even if I understand where her desperation is coming from, I can't share in it. The pressure she's under is way different from anything a normal high schooler like me goes through. She didn't just stumble into the school the way I did, so I can't feel, say I feel the things the way she does. Compared to her, no, compared to everyone else here, there's no doubt I just don't match up. I guess that might explain my own frustration. Oof. Monica might be here. Here we go. Ahem! So, I'm sure you've noticed the killing game has begun, but... There's still room for a little laughter. Seems our 
newest students, already so filled with despair, still have some hope of escape. Oh god. <laughs> so when will it begin? When will their hope begin to die? Is it time yet? Is it time? Heart pounding excitement! <laughs> Bing bong. I'm gonna finish it again. Bum 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 bum. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. OCD. Fair enough. Morning, Monokuma. Is he gonna say the same thing? Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. And I get ready, ready to greet day. another B. Every day. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Alright, how long have you been recording for? Let us check. I did not mean to click through. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for watching. I am really enjoying myself. I mean, I I hope I aren't enjoying watching me experience this the first time. Oh, I certainly am. Amazing. <laughs> and I'm sure you guys watching know why. <laughs> well, I hope all of you watching enjoy watching me literally not know what the fuck I'm doing, but enjoying it at the same time. I hope you all take some time out of your day to subscribe to our channel if you really enjoyed. Like the video, comment. We'd really like to see how you feel. We'd greatly appreciate it. And uh, ring the bell so that you actually know when we upload. Yeah, exactly. YouTube hates us and hates everyone. <laughs> but for some reason, I'm going to say mostly us. So thank you all very much. I appreciate you all. Have an amazing night, day, whatever the fuck time it is. And I, we will see you next time. Yeah. Bye. Peace. Dun, 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 dun.